I was a student in the Glasgow School of Art in the 70s, but it was never part of my intention way back in that era stage of my career to become a member. I joined in 2013, I think it was. I did a course in etching with Ian McNichol, and I also did a collagraph course with Gail. I was a sporadic user for the first couple of years and then all of a sudden in 2016 I was completely hooked. I mean I started learning in my 50s. I, I really wish that I'd started decades ago. Now, you can't anticipate the result you're going to get which is great and as a control freak that's what I love about printmaking. You have an intention but you get a completely different end result than you ever anticipated and it's all the better for it. So I spent nine years working out in the landscape as a landscape painter and I, I use the simplifying filter and the editing tool to pare things down. The print I've made for the Here and Now exhibition is called dot 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 in the eye of the beholder. Now that's a part of a well-known phrase that we're familiar with, which is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I've made a print about my failing eyesight. I have a cataracts building. I've cast my imagination forward to what my sight might be like in the future. And I still will find things beautiful. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's an image that isn't quite clear. Colour is not realistic. I'm in my happy place in a forest with a bird listening app open. I'm learning what birds are singing and the light comes bursting through the trees um, and that's what I find difficult with my vision now, strong light source. I've made something that I find beautiful now and will always find beautiful no matter what sort of condition my sight is in.